What's up guys? Welcome back to Keto Rewind. I am Jess and today's video is going to be my tips to stay keto for the duration of the coronavirus or the COVID-19. So as many of you probably can um, agree with, a lot of the shelves in the stores are bare. Um, it's really hard to find stuff. Um, the stressful times tend to make emotional eaters overeat or, you know, maybe fall back into old habits. And I found that was happening to me. So I thought it'd be great to kind of like, although I'm not an expert, I do feel like I have a voice in this game and I would like to share my tips, what I'm doing. So, but before we get started, um, I do want to say I'm not a medical doctor, not a health coach, not, not an expert. Um, this is just based off of my own experience losing a 108 pounds, living a ketogenic lifestyle and doing intermittent fasting every day. Um, and then also if you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below and turning on those notifications so you don't miss any videos. So let's jump right to it. First things first, after coming back from vacation, we went away um, to, for spring break to Florida and we disconnected from social media, from TVs. We just disconnected and enjoyed our time with our family. So mind you, we didn't prepare before we left, which was a week long trip to have a bunch of groceries in the house, you know, anticipating this all to happen. So here's our surprise. We come home and the world has pretty much unfolded before us. So, um, so I, I listened to the news and the ride home and it over, it just, it got me to start stressing about it. And then it just made me fall back into old habits and I stress ate for the past two days. So I know better knowing that stress eating never makes me feel better, even though it, I think at the time it does, it does not. So please learn from me. I spent two days, obviously one of those days, it was in the car, it was 11 hour car ride. So it was a day of travel sitting on my butt, you know, and having to eat on the road, um, French fries. And then the, when we came home, listening to the news all day, ate way too many treats. So I, and so now not only am I still stressed, but I'm also now bloated too, you know? So it's like, I don't feel any better. It didn't help me. And I want you to not do the, the same mistake as me. So I feel like I do need to say that at all costs, please stay keto. And here's why. If you live and preach the keto lifestyle, you know, and research has shown how healthy it is to eat keto. Sugar feeds these things and it's not good in our body to be inflamed and then trying to fight off a virus like this. So our best case scenario is to stay keto at all costs. Now, when you go into the grocery stores, it's sold out of meat, it's sold out of eggs, sold out of all the things in the outside edges that us ketoers eat. What do you do? <laughs> well, here's what I found. We came back and we've been trying to stock up our fridge and pantry, um, but I wanted to say that if you have not done fasting, now is the time to put it in your, step it up and, and add fasting. Um, and the reasons are fasting is a known immunity booster. In addition to boosting your immune system, of which you can look up the, the benefits of intermittent fasting, just a simple Google search or go to dietdoctor.com, you will find so many reasons why you should be fasting. With that said, fasting also spreads your grocery budget. Say you have a cart full of groceries and you have a family of four, that might last you a week. Well, if you fast and eliminate one to two to three meals a day, now you're stretching that cart. So for me, we have a family of six right now. My parents are in town, two little kids that are eating machines. It's best for me to just pump the brakes and use my body fat <laughs> and do some fasting. And it helps me stay with mental focus to figure out what to do and, you know, be mama bear through this whole situation. It also helps spread the amount of food we'll get per trip to the grocery store, which lessens our chance to leave the house in catching a, uh, the virus. So, and then in, uh, adding on to all of that, my, I'm a stress eater. I stress eat. So if I'm stressed right now, the last thing I need to do is eat. So if I'm fasting, I can't eat in my fasting window. So it's helping me control my emotions and I feel more in control about this whole situation. 
Um, and then the last two things are not really keto related, but they do kind of relate. Um, the first one is move your body. If you go sit outside, if say, you, say you can't exercise, you can still go bring a, a lawn chair or some type of chair and sit outside for 15 minutes to a half hour a day and soak up vitamin D. That's a, another immunity booster. Um, fresh air does wonders on the soul. It gets you out of the environment. It gets you breathing fresh air. Go outside, talk to a neighbor across the street from your front porch, you know, like just, just go outside. And adding on top of that, if you can go for a walk, that's still social distancing. As long as you're not stopping at everybody's house, <laughs> as long as you just do your walk, stay on the sidewalk, nobody gets hurt, you know? <laughs> So, um, but move your body, that'll feel good, that'll get you vitamin D. And then also, um, if you've got kids at home, run around and play with them outside. You know, it's, it, we gotta get that fresh air and, that, and the vitamin D. And then last thing, um, if you have like, is if you're in a warmer climate and you can do some gardening, um, or pull some weeds or do something outside, just get busy and go outside, basically is what I'm trying to say. Um, and then the last one is turn off the TV, don't have it playing in, like that was where I went wrong. I didn't, like I, the more I was listening to it, the more I didn't want to turn it off. So that just makes me more stressed and you know, it just keeps spiraling. So I'm limiting to myself to once or twice a day listening to what's going on and social media a couple times a day. I'm not staying on it all day and reading into the hype and overthinking it because that's what gets me eating and yeah. So with all those tips being said, um, what do you do when you go to the grocery store and there's no keto foods for you? So I'm gonna give you, in this next part of the video, I'm gonna give you my tips on how to stay keto through this whole thing. Um, the first thing is if you're doing a lot of fasting, um, that will extend your food supply big time. So definitely, if you haven't already, start fasting. My personal plan is I'm doing OMAD every day, which is one meal a day. I'm just having dinner and until, and it's indefinitely, I'm gonna be doing this until this situation calms down. They're talking about closing schools like for the rest of the year, all that kind of thing, you know, like I'm, I'm gonna be doing a lot of fasting. I have a lot of weight still to lose, so I'm gonna kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> It'll keep my, the temptation to go get stuff out in, you know, grocery stores and fast food and pretty much goes away when you can't get anything, right? So <laughs> um, we do want to still support our local mom and pop restaurant. So we will probably do some takeout randomly or, and I'll just pay it forward by giving an extra tip, you know, maybe four times the amount I normally would just to help compensate these small businesses that are being impacted. But overall, eat at home, use this time to get your diet centered and focused. And you turn this negative situation into a positive by doing that, acting about that all now. So there's, as far as um, meat goes, we didn't have a stocked freezer before we left. Like we literally were on vacation. We didn't do any of that huge prepping. Um, we didn't expect things to turn out the way they did, um, but whatever. So you can get canned chicken, canned salmon. Um, you can get um, lots of canned meats. So don't forget about that, sardines. Um, and when it comes to like, try to buy fresh and get frozen and stock up in the freezer. So instead of buying one pound, maybe buy two pounds of frozen meat and you know, like, you know, you can go check the frozen section essentially is what I'm trying to say. You, it's not, you don't always have to get fresh. Um, so in frozen, um, you just have to let it thaw and plan ahead and all that stuff. So, but as for eggs, um, check your local farms. We have a lot of local farms here that sell eggs. Um, we do have a lot of grocery stores here. They're all promising that they'll keep the shelves stocked. But I grabbed four dozen eggs the other day because that's the bulk of my diet. Like I'm not really eating much other stuff, um, but I was able to get eggs, so I got four dozen eggs. Um, and with a family of six, that goes up really fast. That's not being um, greedy. That's likely that we have six people in this house, four of them doing keto. We go through a lot of eggs, but I'm not having everything else too, you know? Okay, so as far as what to keep on hand um, of the things that you can control, Remember that um, this is just tips. This isn't the only thing you can do. These are just things I wanna just throw by you 
Um, so when you're at the grocery store and you see no shelves and you want to give up on the lifestyle, remember that there's online sites. Um, I am not affiliated with ButcherBox, but I know ButcherBox is an online grocery store, Thrive Market, um, Amazon, those ones online um, are well respected and efficient and will be around. So don't forget online retailers. And adding to that, remember to think creatively. Um, look at the, the keto community has a ton of great resources to get products. One, one suggestion that will help get you through this time and you probably won't have trouble trying to find is perfect keto products. Um, you, for instance, I purchased their unflavored whey protein to bake stuff with, but they also have vanilla and chocolate as flavors of protein shakes. Now, for me, my kids a lot when they, during the school year, I give them protein shakes because we don't do cereal in this house. Cereal is full of sugar. So I will give my children um, a protein shake by Perfect Keto. They love it and I use almond milk. So I'll do unsweetened almond milk in a scoop of protein powder. That's their breakfast. So I'm like, well, I have loads of protein powder still in my pantry. I'm gonna use a lot of protein shakes. Um, and then obviously this is a grain of salt. Yes, that is dairy. A lot of us ketoers don't do dairy, but in times like this, it's okay to stay on track. It's the lesser of the evil than a a box of cereal, you know? So take this with a grain of salt. Don't chew me out. I'm just giving ideas to, to that you can do um, in this, this challenging time. So the next thing is I swear up and down by their pro the collagen. Um, I use collagen in my coffee every day when I'm fasting, which I'm gonna be doing a lot of fasting. I get the unflavored collagen and, um, and add it to my black coffee and I take their electrolyte capsules because they've got no sugar in them, they're just electrolytes. Um, so check those out, um, especially if you're gonna do a lot of fasting. I plan to do a lot of fasting. So I keep them on hand all the time. They're my go-to for um, electrolytes because a lot of electrolytes like Dr. Berg's have stevia in them. And when I'm fasting, I am one of those really strict fasting folks. <laughs> so I like just the electrolytes, no, no sweeteners at all. Um, but Dr. Berg's um, electrolyte drink is very tasty. I just, when I'm fasting, I want real benefits. So, but I do recommend, like my mom uses the Dr. Berg um, electrolyte powders and stuff like that. So, um, but again, protein bars from Pro Perfect Keto, there's like 200 and something calories in one protein bar with like 13 grams of protein. Collagen, you know, it'll keep you on track. Um, and let's see what other products do I use from them. Um, MCT powders for your coffee. You can use their powders instead of going, having to find creamer at the grocery store. Cause if you're like my stores, they've been sold out of heavy whipping cream. So a way to still drink your coffee with cream in it, the, the MCT oil powder. Um, and then, you know, just like that kind of thing. So think outside the box. Don't just rely on your local grocery stores. Your keto resources are gonna be all stocked because some people are gonna just not feel the desire to keep this lifestyle up um, because it's an easy excuse to not be keto in this time. But there, for, those, for those of us that is, this is truly my lifestyle, I'm gonna find a way around and keep it on track, even if it's not super clean or something, you know? <laughs> So um, the next thing is bone broth. Bone broth you can make at home or like Kettle and Fire is my go-to brand of bone broth. You can steam vegetables up in, or boil vegetables up in bone broth. Not only are you adding collagen, you're adding flavor and it will help you in this time keep you on track. If you're fasting, the bone broth is a great way to come off of a fast or maybe even extend a fast. Um, the, just the plain bone broth, not any of the flavored, like I'm talking chicken or beef. Um, but like their soups, there are other soups that are like, you know, that have flavorings. Those are still a better choice than just hopping right into feeding again. But I'm just saying my, when I come off of a long extended fast, I just do chicken broth, um, chicken bone broth. Um, and I'm going to post all, um, promo codes down below for many of the companies that I'm mentioning. Um, we're doing our, I'm trying to do my part to share other ways to stay on track, um, during the coronavirus. So, um, for instance, Kettle on Fire, um, use 20, 20% off coupon code valid to the end of this month of March. 
The coupon code is Keto Rewind Stock Up, but you have to use the link down below. Um, and with Perfect Keto, it's St. Patrick's Day promo currently. Um, I also have a 15% all the time code. And if I have any more before I upload this video, it'll be posted down below. So just use those links and those coupon codes, codes down below and save money. Um, that's another thing. A lot of stuff's costing a lot more than it should right now because of price gougers. Um, so this, these are ways you could stay on track and save money and spread spread your um, your funds farther than if you were just to go to a grocery store. Okay, so the next idea, you can get this brand, Real Good Foods, at your local Walmart. Also, you can buy it from their website, realgoodfoods.com. This is delicious. Um, it's a roasted poblano chili and creamy cheese jack wrapped in thick cut bacon. So it's basically stuffed chicken. So the, this whole, you, in one, one chicken breast, there's 31 grams of protein and only three carbs. All you have to do is pop it in the oven and, and cook it. Um, that's easy, it's controlled, and it tastes really good. So um, I found them at my local Walmart. Don't forget about the frozen section in your grocery store. They also make en cheese enchiladas. These were delicious. Um, this one was four net carbs and 25 grams of protein per serving. And also pizza, cauliflower crust, um, 27 grams of, of protein and 11, which is a little high, but in still in the grand scheme of things, um, 11 net carbs was not that horrible. So, and it tastes good. So um, these are easy, check your frozen area in your grocery stores, or you can go to realgoodfoods.com and order them there. Um, and I promise they're delicious. So, um, but yeah, so check your grocery store <laughs> um, in the frozen section. Definitely, there's always hidden gems and these I've personally had and they're delicious. So um, the next thing, so I went through bone broth, I went through perfect keto products, you know, protein bars, uh, collagen, um, whey protein, um, electrolytes, that kind of thing, um, and, and fasting. So those are my four tips. And my last tip is, and some other random ideas, if you can get to Costco, a giant bag of pecans would be a great way to get fat in. And also, if you are, if it comes down to food shortages, shortages and stuff, nuts are a great way to get fats and fill you up quick with a little bit of food. Um, you can roast your own, like I like to roast these in butter and salt but I find that they get too tasty that way. So I have actually started just eating them raw. I can eat the serving size a lot easier if I eat them raw, but they're calorie dense and a great way to stay on track and snack and get some nutrition in if it comes to that. Also, all of the pasta in my stores are close, always like the entire shelf, there's no pasta. However, what is there? Edamame pasta, yes it's soy, but it tastes really good and nobody else is grabbing for it. So you can make yourself with some Rayo's um, tomato sauce and make yourself a spaghetti um, meal because nobody's wanting anything other than the real thing right now. So go for unconventional pastas like Miracle Noodles, edamame pasta like this one. It's really good and it's high in fiber, low in carbs. And the only trade off is it's organic soy, um, but organic is still better than regular soy. Um, because it's made from the edamame, which is a soybean. Um, but it's, a, it's another way to stay keto, and we can worry about being super clean when we have survived or made it through to the other side of this virus outbreak. Um, so that's an easy way. There's a million ways to fix up this. Tastes just like regular noodles. So um, check that out. Also, don't forget Lakanto and Swerve. They both have websites that have stocked up with pancake mixes, cake mixes, cookies, sugars, you know, like make yourself a keto treat. Don't have the Girl Scout cookies. Don't have the non-keto treat. If you want something sweet and you're stressing, go keto. <laughs> you know these are good. So I have coupon codes down below for Lakanto. Um, I think it's a 15% off code. Again, all of my coupon codes will be down below. But they both have websites um, with, loaded with recipes and um, tasty stuff. I've never had anything by Lakanto that I didn't like. Also, in addition to Lakanto, you know, like Birch Benders, um, what's the other brands out there? But 
unconventional ways to stay keto. It doesn't have to be perfect right now. Just find ways to stay keto as easy as possible. And think about what is everybody else doing? They're not going for the health noodle. <laughs> That's going to be available. So make a menu, try to find stuff that's not really what people are going for right now, and you'll have a better chance. Not everybody does keto in the first place. So keto foods are going to be available in the grocery stores versus non-keto foods. So, um, but the only unfortunate side is we don't get much with the, with the meat sorted shortages and the dairy shortage shortages, that kind of thing. It's hard to, um, get that stuff. So we're going to have to come up with other ways and think outside the box. Okay. So when it comes to like cold and flu, what do you do when you get sick? This applies. This is stuff that I've done, um, long before we had a coronavirus. Um, once since I turned keto or went keto or preached or lived the keto lifestyle, um, traditional medicines are full of sugar. So when you get sick, what do you do? So, you know, I don't get as sick nearly as often since I've lived the ketogenic lifestyle. Um, but in the rare chance that, you know, kids come home, they they're sick, you know, and it passes to me or, you know, the rest of my family, this is what we've been using. Um, I'll probably have to do some type of a screenshot to show that, but these are kind of like a Zycam, but a little different. Um, but you just, take these throughout the day and it knocks out a cold in my family in our experience pretty quickly. So it relieves like the flu like symptoms and you're not going to get kicked out of ketosis with this. Um, also, I used to be a huge user of elderberry syrup, but it's loaded with honey. I know the risks sometimes are worth it to, or it's worth throwing yourself out of ketosis to get over the cold faster, but I don't even know enough about that to make a better decision. So instead I switched to elderberry tea. I get these in my local sprouts. I'll link below um, the elderberry tea, but it tastes good. My kids love it and I'll squirt a little honey in it for my kids when they're sick, but it's a great way to boost those antioxidants um, and kick a cold faster. I am out of my zinc and vitamin C. Um, so I just reordered them on Amazon, but order, I would suggest vitamin C and zinc daily D3 and like for my kids, I give them vitamin C every day and I also give them a probiotic. And they also love kefir, kefir. I don't know how they're supposed to say that, but they do kefir every day. Um, they love it and it's a great way to keep their gut healthy so that if they get sick, they kick the cold faster. So, um, and then obviously I told you earlier, electrolytes for all the fasting and this way you don't get those that are in addition to elect electrolytes, the apple cider vinegar tonic recipe, I'm going to post a picture here. Um, but that way you don't get these spikes of insulin, um, or I should say you don't get those hunger waves. It kind of regulates your, your, um, your blood sugars and all that when you're doing the apple cider vinegar tonic and electrolytes when you're fasting. So I hope you enjoy this video. I will probably make a lot more of these as this situation develops and how to keep on track. But if I could say one thing, please, please, please don't give up on the ketogenic lifestyle. You know, you feel better eating this way. It doesn't even, you don't even need to see the research. You know, you can feel it yourself. You feel better this way. It's so easy to fall into old patterns. I'm, I'm still doing that. I'm a, I'm a recovering, um, overeater. I'll have an obesity fight my whole life. Even when I get to my goal weight, once you have that problem, it's a lifelong problem and it's a daily fight. So I get it of all people. I get it. But my health and feeling good always outweighs and it snaps me out of it because I know better. And I know that in addition to being stressed, I want to feel good too. I don't want to feel bad and be stressed and then have no energy or mental focus to get through and make good decisions for my family. So please, please, please don't give up. Let's all lift each other up. Let's keep supporting. And I want to say for everybody who has been following my journey, Thank you from the bottom of my heart for subscribing, leaving the most lovely and meaningful messages in the comments. Um, it has really, I feel like I just want to pinch myself some days that that many people want to do this with me and support me. And I really, really consider you all like an extension of my family and, or my community here. So it's really something special. And I want you to know we are all in this together. Don't stress, just be smart. Um, and then go be great. <laughs> I'm Jess and you're watching Keto Rewind. Bye-bye.